Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Cigar Reviews. My name is James Wiedenbeck from the Tinderbox in Buffalo, New York. And today I am going to be talking with you about the Diesel Esteli Puro. Now, when you hear Puro, you think Puro. All, all the tobacco comes from a specific place. Normally, that means it comes from a specific country. It's a Nicaraguan Puro. It's a Honduran Puro. It, it's, it's a Dominican Puro. This is an Esteli Puro. This is Diesel's first region-specific blend. This all comes from the Esteli region of Nicaragua. So it's not only a Nicaraguan Puro, it is an Esteli Puro. Um, the company line on this, and I'm going to read it verbatim, so that way you guys know right from the source, uh, right from Diesel themselves. Um, this was created with A.J. Fernandez. It harnesses the strength and complexity of Esteli's renowned tobacco, which comes from the darkest and most dense of Nicaraguan soils. This is the first one I've smoked. I haven't smoked much of it yet, as you can see, and it's Nicaraguan. It's Nicaraguan through and through. Uh, this is a flavor bomb. It's a pepper bomb. This is bold, spicy, in your face. I haven't smoked a lot of it yet, so this is just my my initial feeling on the cigar. But man, it's that's going to be a strong cigar. <laughs> it's it's already starting off strong and in your face. Now, all the tobacco in this comes from A.J. Fernandez's farms. Uh, the uh, wrapper comes from La Lalia, which is named for A.J. Fernandez's grandmother. Uh, the binder comes from San Jose. The filler comes from several different plots, um, including the very well-known, very well-respected, well-renowned uh, San Latano farm. Um, a lot of great tobacco has come out of that farm. Uh, some Some award-winning tobacco has come out of that farm. So I can't stop smoking it. It's it's a strong cigar, um, but it is flavorful as all heck. Um, I'm going to put a little graphic on the screen here so that way you guys can get a better look at it rather than just seeing it in my hand. Um, it, it it comes with a a, a cedar wrapper on it. Um, it's it's got a little uh, a, a little black band at the uh, at the foot. Um, the the graphic is a little bit different. This one it actually says Esteli Puro on the uh, on on the cedar. It is it is deep. It is complex, it is dark, it is spicy. I, I would not recommend this cigar as a starter cigar. Don't if, if you're thinking about getting into cigars, don't pick one of these up first. Um, you're, you're, you're gonna throw yourself for a loop. Um, I wouldn't have this as my first cigar of the day, probably. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't think I'm going to wake up to this guy. Um, I, I will probably have this mid-afternoon or, or, or even uh, after dinner, after, uh, after a nice meal. Uh, these come in three different sizes. They come in the Robusto, which is what I have right now. It's a uh, five and a quarter by 54. They come in a Toro, which is a six by 54. And they come in a, uh, a Gigante a 6x60. Now, normally, Gigantes, because of the cigars are different in different sizes. You can have the same blend, but it's going to smoke different. It's going to taste a little different. It's going to be, the strength is going to be a little different depending on the size of the cigar. Because you have a different ratio of wrapper to binder to filler. Now, when they roll these things, they try to take that into account and change up the blend depending on the size and try to get you know all the sizes to taste about the same 
it works and doesn't work. You, you, there are changes when you, when you go up in size, especially when you go from a Robusto to a Gigante. They smoke different. They're going to they're gonna have the same flavor notes, but it's going to change a little bit. Uh, strength may change. Uh, normally with the Gigante, because you have more filler as opposed to wrapper and binder, um, Gigantes will mild out a blend sometimes. With this one, with all of the tobacco coming from AJ's Farms in Esteli, I don't know if that's going to be the case. I don't know if the Gigante is going to mild out a little bit or if it's actually going to be stronger because this thing is just filled with strong tobacco as it is and you add more strong tobacco, the, the Gigante could be... Uh, could be a, an absolute powerhouse. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see once once we get them in, once uh, once they're released. They should be hitting shelves about now, um, soon, hopefully. Um, stop into the store and uh, and see if we've got them. Uh, we will release on on Facebook and such when we do get them. All our pertinents are below. If you want to subscribe to us uh, on on YouTube. It definitely means a lot to me. Um, hit us up on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, any new release that we get in, we, 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 do, we do release in those ways. Um, you can go to our website and sign up for our email list at the top of the page. And normally with new releases, we shoot out an email as well. Thank you very much for watching the review. Everybody keep smoking cigars, keep enjoying them. Leave me comments below what you think about the review, what you think about the, uh, the, the new studio here, and uh, hope to see everybody shortly. Thanks.